One night, Gordon was boasting to the engines about how filthy coal was. Most of the engines weren't really listening. This was because most of them were already asleep, and others would be half asleep. And for the engines that were awake, they would try not to listen to Gordon's complaining. Honestly, the filthy stuff coal is. It's disgraceful, said Gordon. Yes, it's useful for us steam engines, but I'd say that it's way too filthy for my liking. But that's coal, said Henry. It's supposed to be filthy. Henry's right, said Duck, and my guess as to why it's filthy is more likely is most likely because it's a mineral that had been dug out of the ground. Either way, it's still filthy, said Gordon. At least not as filthy as goods train. At least not as filthy as goods trains. Or as smelly as the flying kipper, Henry. Why, you, Gordon, one more word and I swear I will shove one of your express coaches right up your... Ugh, guys, keep it down, said Percy. Some of us are... Tr Some of us have work in the morning. And with that, everyone went to sleep. Day. The next morning, Gordon was looking to see if there are any shunters to shunt, to shunt his express coaches. There was, however, one available with six small, with six small wheels and green and yellow stripes. It looked even smaller than Thomas and Percy. As the engine was shunting, he didn't know that one of the trucks were derailed. And as he came up to the truck with a hard bump, the truck came off the rails, smashed into the crates, and hit the water tower, knocking it off the, r knocking it over. But the engine didn't know this. But by the time he realized, while well, he was passing. While he was passing it, he didn't know that he had shoved his trucks right through the buffers. Worse still was that he was right under the coal chute. And by the time he realized all of this, it was too late. Wait, what the? Ah! 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 No! Ah! <coughs> Someone help me, groaned the tank engine. What's this then? Another silly little tank engine having an accident? That would never happen to me, said Gordon grandly. Um, I have a name, you know, and it's Billy. And I didn't mean it. Of course you didn't mean it. You're just too stupid to realize this. Billy was cross. Big blue show-off. Yeah. At least you weren't as filthy as those trucks over there. At least until you had that accident. The trucks overheard, overheard Gordon's rude remark, and they were cross. We must find a way to pay him out, said they said, but they didn't know how. Just then, it wasn't long until Gordon's driver arrived back after talking to Sir Topham Hat. I'm afraid it's not good news, Gordon. Unfortunately, the engine that was due to take these those trucks over there had, had, had well, derailed. And you're the only engine available, so you'll have to take it. Well, why can't Thomas press your Henry take them? They love pulling goods trains. Thomas is busy on his branch line. Henry is taking a heavy goods train to the docks, and Percy is old... And Percy is on passenger duty for today. And don't even think of asking any of the other engines to do it. Because they're, bu they're busy too. What about Billy over there? He's not even off the rails. To be honest, Gordon, said Billy, I think I feel some coal stuck in my funnel. 
Ugh, fine, I'll take the trucks, said Gordon. He was very cross. In fact, Gordon was so cross that he had forgotten that he needed to take a turntable, as it was dangerous for tender engines to take trains while going backwards. Now's our chance to pay him out, hissed the first truck. And the others giggled quietly as Gordon buffered up to them. Come on now, you filthy things, he said, bumping them hard. And with a loud whistle, as well as a hard bump, Gordon set off. As he was heading towards the points, they quickly switched. as another engine entered the yard. This was the engine that was supposed to take the trucks, but Gordon didn't notice them. And he didn't see that the points were against him, nor did his crew, but as they did, it was too late. Oh, bother. Unfortunately for Gordon, he had now derailed trapping both Billy and the engines in the yard. Wow, and you say I'm a silly little engine, said Billy. Oh, shut up, you, said Gor fumed Gordon. Later that day, after he was done pulling his goods train, Henry arrived. Well, 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 Gordon. I thought you disliked pulling trucks. And here you are, pulling, go pulling a goods train right now. Although I didn't know that you had a, that you had such a history pulling goods trains backwards, or a tender first, in your case, first the express and now goods trains. Whatever next, to be honest. Just shut up and get help, muttered Gordon. All right then, said Henry. But first, Sir Topham had asked me to take the express. So I'll be right back after. After I take your train. And with that, Henry puffed off, leaving Gordon with a lot to think about.